Hey y'all, today we're gonna test our water. So I ordered this health metric drinking water test and it's said to test your pH, bacteria, total alkalinity, copper, lead, nitrate, nitrite, total chlorine, and total hardness. So I think that's pretty all consuming, especially for the EPA drinking water safety uh, regulations. So let's, let's check it and compare it in relation to what I find for my city water. Let's do the three-way pH, alkalinity, and total hardness test first. And it says just to dip it into a glass of water and gently swirl for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Remove and shake out. And now we just have to wait 20 seconds to match to the color bar on the instruction set. So it looks like our 20 seconds is up. Now we can match the strip to the color corresponding to each test. So probably a pH of 6.5, total alkalinity of maybe 80, and then total hardness closer to zero. And based on those standards, that's still pretty good. The next test is the total chlorine. So take the test strip out. Looks like this. Dip in the water for five seconds. Now I just have to wait for 30 seconds. Okay, looks like it's been 30 seconds. Now all I have to do is fold it. Next, I just compare to the total chlorine. Total chlorine. Mm, perhaps somewhere around here. So somewhere between 0.2 and 1. Next is the copper check. This is the copper strip. And we just open it up. Take our glass of water. And this is what it looks like, it's pink. And just dip it into our glass of water for 15 seconds. Okay, that looks good, 15 seconds done. And now we wait 30 seconds. Okay, so now it's been 30 seconds. All I have to do is fold the strip so that this is facing in the back. Copper test. Zero. Yeah, I would say there's about zero. Zero copper present in my water, which is good. Okay, the next test is the nitrite and nitrate test. Why is this so difficult? They don't want me to know what my nitrates are. Now I'm even more curious. Okay, we need scissors. Okay, well, finally got it out. Doesn't look like anything special right now. This is the nitrite nitrate test. And we are supposed to dip it for two seconds. One, two. And now that it's been dipped, I have to wait for one minute, maybe two, and then match to the colors. So while I'm waiting those one to two minutes for my nitrate, I can get my lead set up. So open the pouch. It's like there's quite a few items. Okay, so this is the tester. It comes with a pipette. And then a container. Whoa, a container for the water. It says to add one pipette full of water into the vial. Okay, I can do that. And now we're done. And now we place with the arrows pointing down into the vial. So here it goes. It's just sitting in there, chilling out. And it says wait 
10 minutes and don't disturb the strip or the vial and then I can read the results. So I think it's been one minute now for the nitrate. Total nitrate, zero. Total nitrite, zero. We're pretty satisfied with all the results so far. Okay, and then the final one was bacteria. I already did this ahead of time uh, because this takes two days to test, but all you have to do is wash your hands first and then don't touch the inside of the bottle, but fill up your water to the top of the bottle. Shake it up and then just wait. So yeah, just keep it out of direct sunlight and wait two days before you look. And you can tell right now that the color of the water is purple and that indicates that the water is safe and there is no dangerous bacteria present in this water. Looks like the lead test is done. So now we can take it out, take a look at it. And it looks like there are there's one line and a very faint line next to the two. This is more of what it looks like. Yep, turn this around. Okay, yeah, so negative results. So it's less than 15. The line is very faint. Overall, I highly recommend getting this water test kit. There is double, so you can do it more than once if you think you didn't do it right. Uh, it was 30 bucks on Amazon. And uh, yeah, it was pretty easy and simple to, to do. So I, yeah, definitely test it out. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any other questions about water quality, please post them in a comment below. Thank you for watching.